Dave Palumbo here for another RX Muscle News Update. The New York Pro Men's Open has finally let out. And as we predicted earlier today, a blessing Awadibu has emerged as the men's champion. Uh, not that much of a shocker after seeing him at prejudging. He was just completely dominant. Matter of fact, I thought he looked better tonight, believe it or not. He was fuller. He is conditioning, you know, whenever you're fuller and, and, and you're just as dry, you, you you just look more separated. He looked very confident. I think he knew he won this show. And that is always a good feeling when you go out there and you can kind of be your best. I, I, I look like they cut off his, his posing routine in the middle because at least they cut the music, maybe because it was offensive. I don't know. And he just kept going and kept posing. He, you know, he's a real entertainer. He's a like another Kai Green in the sense that he likes to really get the audience going. He's an unconventional poser, meaning that he doesn't really hit the conventional poses. He adds his own little twist onto it, which is always fun. Sergio Oliva Jr. is uh, another unconventional poser like that, which is always fun to watch because they, they can hit the standard pose, but then they add their own little flair to it. So, look, it's, it's another thing that draws your attention to him when he's on stage. He's a larger than life character. He's off. The, if you want, follow his Instagram, he's he's a real character. He does funny stuff. He's got a great sense of humor. I think he's a good ambassador for the sport. I think it was he won two shows two weeks in a row. I mean, a lot of guys don't win two shows their whole career. He's going to the Olympia at the end of the year. That gives him a, a plenty of time now to rest, relax, put on maybe another five pounds or so of muscle if he can do it. He's still in his growth years now. This is the time to do it. If he can show up at the Olympia, another five pounds heavier, I think he's going to be very, very dangerous there. I think he's going to do well. I still think his legs might be just a little undersized to necessarily compete against some of the really, you know, freaks of freaks up there, like that top six. But I think he, you know, if he can crack top 10 at the, his first Olympia, I think that's a huge victory for a blessing. Uh, he did everything he had to do to win here today. Um, I, everyone else is, was vying for second place, essentially. And that's exactly what happened. It came down to, and I talked about these guys in the pre-judging wrap-up, Andrea Presti from Italy and Max Charles. Max looked like he was solidly in second after pre-judging, but when I was watching Presti pose uh, in the mandatories here against Max, I said, you know, Presti got better. He's fuller. He's sh crazy shredded, which we reported earlier. And Max kind of faded a little bit. He looked like he was hurting up on that stage. He's the kind of guy that he's just – he's barely, you know, where he needs to be all the time because if he doesn't, then he gets too flat and his legs look small. He just looked like he just smoothed over a little, especially in the in the glutes and hamstrings. I, I thought Presti had him. I didn't know if the judges would make that change, and they did. It was good. I saw Tyler was the head judge, uh, Tyler Mannion, and he uh, was eventually moved Presti next to Blessing in the middle, and I saw at that point that the – judging you know panel seemed to be favoring andrea presti which was a good move i had him solidly in third but i think this move to second was really good because just max was just not at his best and the, the, you couldn't justify giving it to max even though max had a better lat spread from behind and he's bigger a little bit bigger on his upper body the lower body just did not you know it, there was no wow there and i think you know that you can't reward that you obviously it is a bodybuilding show and max does have good size and, and structure but you know, you, you can't be judged just from the front and sides. You have to turn around and be judged as well. So, you know, for, for Max, I think it's still a good showing third place here. You know, you, you really can't complain about that. Uh, Theo Leguerriere from France. I'm sure I didn't pronounce his name too, too, too well, but uh, you guys got the picture. He, once again, I talked about him at pre-judging. He did phenomenal here. This is, it was a, was a victory for him to place in the top five here. People know who he is now. He has to put a little more size on, come in a little tighter, a little grainier, and he's going to win pro shows. You know, he's not going to win the Arnold and the Olympia yet, but he's going to win pro shows. I think he should continue to do another show, try to qualify for the Olympia, and then take off, you know, the rest of the year and really put on some size. If he adds five to six pounds, he can be very dangerous at the Olympia. So I thought the top four was really good. Justin Rodriguez slips into that fifth position. I'm sure he was happy to make the top five, but Justin has to know that he just wasn't his best. You know, Chris Aceto and I talked about this on Heavy Muscle Radio last week. Chris said he just, you know, he was off, and I agreed. And I said, you know, I thought maybe he could pull it together, you know, for this show, but I think it was just too far off, and there's just, you know, he just didn't have enough time. I'm sure he had made a commitment to do the show, and that's why he followed through and did it, which is, you know, you got to take your hat off to the guy. A lot of people would have just dropped out and not done the show, but Justin's a man of his word. He obviously committed to Steve Weinberg to do the show. 
he showed up and did the show. And that's that's a class act right there. And so congratulations to uh, Blessing Awadibu for winning uh, his second pro show. Qualifying again for the Olympia. We will see him in uh, Las Vegas come December. Laura Lai Chapados uh, wins another bikini title here at the New York Pro. She looked amazing. Uh, congratulations to her and all the winners here uh, at the New York Pro Weekend. I think Steve Weinberg did a great job once again. I'm so happy to see that this show is back to normal on the normal schedule. No more COVID restrictions, and uh, Steve's got to be happy about that. So thank you all for uh, following all our coverage all weekend long. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.